Good evening. Quarter past eight. I'm going out for a ride and look at the weather. Lovely. So just thought I'd run out. I haven't been on the bike for a couple of days and getting a little bit edgy. It's a lovely, lovely day. Before I came out, I sent a, a message around and I was like, anybody up for a ride? You know, anybody in the area? Go for a little ride, enjoy the bikes a bit and such. Uh, everybody seems to be busy and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna go out for a ride for myself. Jump on the bike, out we go. Just see how it goes. I want to get a few pictures, so I'm going to head over to a few nice areas. I think I'm going to go to uh, Devil's Dyke first. You know what? No, let's do Bury Hill. Although every time I go over that way, I end up breaking down, so I sort of jinx the area. But no, let's do it. I said I'm going to do it. Let's do it. The whole idea of coming out tonight, or yeah, tonight, was just to sort of do a bit of a, a shut-in video. Um, a lot of the time, I haven't really had much time, so I'm taking sort of every half an hour spare I get. I'm just going out. Um, the other half usually goes swimming on a Sunday like today. But uh, she went out, wasn't really feeling particularly good. Well, she's feeling all right, but didn't really want, didn't feel up for swimming. So and she said, "Why don't I go out on the bike?" And uh, in my current frame of mind. That was an easy yes to say. Straight out on the bike. I've always gone out on the bike and I've always thought if I'm going to go out on the bike it's always a good idea to go and do something or you know go out to meet somebody or you know go out for a ride and if I'm going out for a ride go with some people. But since I've started vlogging I do literally go out for a ride just to ride and it's nice. So, there's some blue lights coming up behind me now. Let's let them pass. I don't like having blue lights behind me. I get all shifty and nervous, even when I'm not doing anything wrong. I think you're more likely to have an accident on a bike if you've got the blue lights behind you, or in any vehicle, because you're keep looking in your mirrors all oh, you know are they coming closer are they coming closer you know are they after me what have I done now yeah I don't know that's just me probably everybody else as well but that's how I feel cannot see a damn thing jeez even with that open I can't see a damn thing with that sun in my face Ugh. gonna need to get a visor wipe out need a little wet sponge in a tennis ball Yes, I've been watching the TT. I head up towards uh, Storrington. It's a very hill. And we'll go that way, because that should be quite nice and fun. There's a bloody Audi behind me now. I love this road. Going a little bit quicker, this road is absolutely gorgeous. It just flows so well. Yeah, Storrington, then oh, over, I think it's over to Pulborough way. And on the way to Pulborough, this Bury, or the village of Bury, there's Bury Hill and Whiteways Cafe, which is one of the little biker places around here. So I, every time I try and get up there, something can catastrophic goes wrong with the bike and I have got my phone on me today so and I've got breakdown so if something does go wrong I'll be all right oh there we go I tell you what when I got this bike the front brakes were pretty naff in fact all the brakes were pretty naff and the first thing I did when I bought it, it had brand new pads in absolutely brand new spanking pads first thing I did change them and it completely changed the bike. So there's not many places to overtake on this bit. That is one of them. And I don't think you could do it in a car very easily. Oh. So 
once again, I've gone wildly off topic. Um, you know, just getting out on the bike, making videos. Don't need to see anybody, don't need to do anything. Just getting out on the bike and make a few videos about some random shit that I like to talk about, which is usually random jumbled crap that makes no sense to anybody. I go off on wild tangents that, or tangents, tangents? I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm pretty sure it's tangents. Or oh, tangents, yeah, tangents. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So if you've heard of what they are, then that is it, just wildly off topic. Right, keep the bike level. It's very easy to do on this. I'll tell you what, for the heaviest bike I've owned, as you know, it's not the heaviest bike I've owned, well, the most powerful bike I've owned, it is incredibly nimble, especially at the slow speeds. But that's probably because it's a super sports bike. But when I got it, I was expecting it to be just wildly heavy. Um, because it's, it's essentially exactly the same as my 400, with a bigger lump in it, and a bit more of a, a substantial frame and all of that. And it's not. And I think on paper there isn't actually much in it, but this bike is just, oh, it's fantastic, I absolutely love it. Everything I want it to do, it does. And that is saying something, because not many people can say that about their bikes. All right. I feel something slightly wrong. As I said, every time I come out this way, something goes wrong. Oh, right. Back wheel works, back brake works, that's for sure. Not very well. But I've been told that's quite a common thing. Just locked it up. Squeech! So, front brake still, still work. Straighten you up pretty quickly. Wibbly wobbly shaky. Making videos. This video about making videos just isn't going to work. I'm enjoying riding the bike too much and going off on tangents about random crap. Oh, 23,000 miles. This is Burry Hill. It's just a brilliant little hill. It's great fun. I'm not, not as keen going down it. Well, who is on a bike? Lack of front end feel and such. Especially when somebody turns off like that. We're going to do a little spin round here. And we're going to go back up. Here we go. So I'm not bombing it, this is the first time I've done it on this bike, but we're sticking with the limits and we'll get... just a glorious bit of road. Skim the bushes, out you come, back over. And there we have it.
Oh, here we go, Upper Whiteways. Donut marks. Oh. They're closed at the moment, but I'll have a wander around. Usually I have to come up and get a coffee. Tea, well, tea. Oh. Have a chat with people, see what people say, but there's nobody here today, so a few people, we shall see. Mm. See you later.